Photographers, here is an awesome program. You can download it for free, and it's really revolutionized the way that I've looked at photography as well as teaching photography. Uh, TPE is a, a program developed by a, a relatively local fellow here in Estes Park. Uh, Stephen Trainer lives down in Boulder. He's a former uh, software designer. And after going on some trips and, and being scorned like many of us have, showing up at the wrong time or the wrong place for the year, he developed this really amazing program. So uh, we're going to go over here uh, to the uh, multi-day. We're going to go here to our overall view. Um, this panel here, we decided, uh, you know, I, I have been to Grand Teton National Park, and uh, I wanted to plan out my trip. You know, maybe I've got some time. I know I usually have some time in my uh, busy schedule late in October. I want to shoot some shots. Well, I want to shoot, you know, we all want to be Ansel Adams. We can go right back to the Snake River Overlook, and that's what we're going to put our dot in. This is Google Maps, so we can zoom in just about as close as you possibly want to. You can go to the satellite view and get exactly where you should be. Here's the parking lot and the trail. Ansel seems to have shot from right about there. So there's exactly where we want to be. We go back to uh, the map view. Uh, and we can go to the terrain. And this is pretty handy. We want to use the terrain view to get the most detail out of this uh, program. Um, but we zoom out just a little bit. Here's our, black, or our red dot. That's where we're going to be. This yellow line is where the sun is going to rise. And if we're out there on October 28th, the sun's going to rise at 7.48 a.m. Mountain Time. So we know what's going to go on. Um, and the, red, the orange line is where the sun is going to set. The light blue is where the, sun, the moon will rise, and then where the moon will set way out here. So if I want to take that iconic shot, getting the Tetons lit up, I know this is where I want to be. Here's the angle of the sun and how everything is going to light up in time. We're going to get a nice shadow over here at um, some of the lakes that we really can't see from that vantage point. But what makes this program really interesting is we can plan out the rest of our day, the rest of our trips, go somewhere you've never shot before, and know when to be there, what to do, and try out some new locations. So I've got some locations back in my home park, Rocky Mountain National Park. Dream Lake's a great place. Got it saved already, so I'm going to hit go got it plunked in right there. So if we're back at Rocky, I'm doing a tour, same day, October 28th, 2010, here next year, zoom in, the sun is going to be rising across, sort of sideways across Dream Lake. So here's a really cool thing about this program. We zoom in, if we hold down the shift key, the lines continue. This line is where the sun's going to light up. So it's going to light up the far side of the range out here. This is Flat Top Mountain and the Spires. Hallett's Peak is over here. Hallett's Peak is going to be kind of in the shadow right as the sun rises. So it may not be the perfect time of year to shoot that shot, but no, it's not bad. If you want to be uh, absolutely perfect, you probably want to get up there sometime about the last week of September, right as the elk are rutting. You can look, the sun pretty much comes in, comes out almost straight line that tells you we're close to the equinox um, and we got the sun pardon me we zoomed in a little bit too far got the sun rising right across the mountain so it's gonna light up pretty much everything evenly it's gonna light up the backside and the mountains out here pretty nifty program so here we are we want to be uh, we want to know that it's gonna rise at 645 Now I put in some information out here the fact that the horizon is going to be about 4,000 feet in elevation. What does that mean? Well, we're way up in the mountains. We're here at the base of Dream Lake. You're almost at 10,000 feet. You're way above the horizon line. So if we keep zooming out and zooming out, Stephen put in this interesting uh, guideline to give us an idea of where the horizon is. See that nice little gray box? The horizon is way out here. And there's this little gray guy that usually hangs out if you go into the details mode. This little gray guy is where we want to put out the horizon. And I just know if we put it out here, it's going to be close to 4,000 feet. We lock it at 4,255 feet. Um, that's going to give us an exact time when sun's going to rise. And we got some interesting details. What we know is that way out there where the sun actually does rise, it's actually one degree lower in altitude than where we are from our horizon line. 
So if we go to sunrise, we get I'll click our button, okay, 645. Sunrise, the sun is actually a few degrees below the horizon because it's actually going out over at 4,000 feet. Pretty nifty tool to know exactly when to get there. If you read your chart, actually you should probably be there about 635, 640 to set up, get everything right. So nifty program. We're going to do some other things though with that. Um, we're going to do that in the next video. We're going to talk about how do you plan out the rest of your day other than shooting sunrise.